Boeing is expected to announce major financial losses this morning because the grounding of its 737 MAX aircraft has lasted much longer than expected. Those planes have been grounded worldwide since mid-March following two deadly crashes that killed 346 people. Yesterday, the president and CEO of Boeing's commercial airline division was replaced. Chris Van Cleve is at Reagan National Airport outside Washington with more on this story. Chris, good morning to you, and what can we expect today? Well, good morning. We know Boeing executives will be addressing what is likely to be an ugly financial quarter marked by significant losses because of the prolonged grounding of the 737 MAX. We also know that one executive will not be on the call because the performance has cost him his job. Kevin McAllister is out as the president and CEO of Boeing's commercial airplanes division. He faced increasing internal scrutiny for what many saw as his poor handling of customer relationships and his management of Boeing's most important division during the 737 MAX crisis. Commercial planes are more than 60% of Boeing's total revenue. The move to oust him comes just days after a series of messages between two Boeing test pilots from 2016 were made public indicating there may have been problems with the MAX's automated flight control systems nearly two years before the first crash. One pilot wrote, it's running rampant in the sim on me, speaking of a simulator there, and he worried its performance meant he, quote, basically lied to regulators unknowingly. Now, this month, Boeing's president and CEO, Dennis Mullenberg, was stripped of his chairman of the board title. He remains in charge of day-to-day -day operations, and he is expected to be testifying on the Hill next week. Tony, you can bet there will be some tough questions waiting for him. And we'll be watching, Chris. Thank you very much.